All right, Kenny Bill with Pushing It Down Range. I'm going to do a quick video on something I picked up. I've been putting off for a while. As you know, I have a preference for semi-auto shotguns, but I decided to go ahead and pick up this pump. Now this is a Maverick 88. This Maverick 88 is the security model. It has an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's chambered three inch. So it handles two and three quarter inch shells, no problem. Five rounds plus one in the chamber for a total of six. A lot of people have these and I know there's tons of videos out on them. So we're gonna keep this short. Um, but I did wanna show the modifications that I did on this. And I think they work out really good for me. I have taken it to range and I'm gonna show some footage of that. But for right now, let's just go over what I did. I've got a uh, heat shield that I picked up on eBay. Uh, Tac Fun makes this particular one. Um, you will, when pumping the shotgun, your thumb tends to hit the barrel. And if you shot it for a while, this thing will get a little hot. So there is a practical use to it. But it also looks really cool, I think. They make one with holes instead of the slots. I like the slots a lot better. All right, the Maverick 88 does not have any provisions at all for optics, uh, Picatinny rail, or anything. So you have to rely on the aftermarket for that. I did find from Trinity Supply Incorporated, they make a, um, a mount that slips over the top of the receiver. It utilizes a replacement of the takedown pin with a bolt for one attachment and the other side replaces uh, a screw with a longer one that gives a connection with a T-bolt uh, on this side of the receiver. And since it's machined so well, there is absolutely no movement here. So it's, it's a reliable mount for your optics. So I've put that into play for the bull dot and the P10 red dot. Second of all, of course, I have the UTG bull dot. I've got them on all my shotguns. This thing puts out a dot that's highly visible, more so than these little skinny ones. Um, I can't see them at 50 yards. This you can see at 100 yards. So that works out really good. I uh, also picked up the uh, North Tac P10 Ronin. Um, I've got a, another one of these. They're really sturdy uh, according to some of the videos I've seen. But the uh, this one's got the one inch riser that allows me to look over the top of the bull dot. So that's going to work out really good. It's got a shake away feature to it which I think is really important. All right, and the last option is the Tactilode Flash 5 stock. Now, I really don't like the saddles that hold rounds on the side. There's, uh, I keep seeing people that you know, complain about they get in the way of your face, they fall out. Uh, but the Flash 5 has five rounds in a magazine type chamber here that uh, you can strip out on the go. Just pull one out, quick load really nice i like this option a lot better it's really cool i love it like i said i took it to the range i'm going to include a little bit of footage on that and that's it maverick 88 with my best options on it here we go